One Punch Man just dropped a major bombshell on us in the last chapter, introducing a brand new character that is part of the Sukuyomi. And while they don't explain what the Sukuyomi are, in Japanese culture, Sukuyomi means moon god. So it's very clear here that this guy and his allies are part of a cult that are devotees of God. And this is brand new to the One Punch Man manga, it did not exist in the webcomic. And this is very interesting because the One Punch Man manga talks and shows a lot more about God than the webcomic ever did. The webcomic only showed us one brief image with Homeless Emperor, while as the manga seemingly talks about God every other chapter. Making it very clear here that One and Murata are trying to push us towards the end of One Punch Man, which will be Saitama vs God, which Oh my god, I can't even imagine how insane this is going to be when Murata gets to it. And I love what one is doing here because he's now that he's giving us this brand new character and gang, this this cult of the Sukoyomi, the followers of God. That means we're going to get a lot more information about God coming up here in the manga. They're not just simply following the webcomic, instead they're infusing what everybody wants to know into the story, and that is, who is God? Why is he sealed? What's he doing? When's Saitama going to fight him? Well, we're going to start to get more and more answers now, every chapter or so, because they have to reveal the motives and storyline behind this Sukoyomi clan. Now, there was another name drop, and that is the Third Eye which we learned that Psychos was the former vice president of this third eye. And we don't know too much about it besides the fact that something to do with the third eye allows you to see into the future. And this is something that this Sukoyomi clan wants. And I think one of the reasons they may want that is because it's very clear that God is like some sort of interdimensional being that exists beyond time and space. And perhaps God is actually in the future and they need the third eye to communicate with him or something like that. Perhaps they need to go into the future to free him. Perhaps they want to bring a God from the future to the present day. Probably has something to do with that. Now she's the former vice president, meaning that there is a president out there who is stronger than Psychos, probably Fubuki and potentially even Tatsumaki as a top esper out there. And this is also brand new to the manga, not the webcomic. So now we have this third eye clan of, I guess, espers that can see into the future or perhaps their prophets. If you remember the, the main prophecy of Shibabawa, who said that the main catastrophe of the One Punch Man world was going to happen in six months. Perhaps this woman could have been in the third eye before and perhaps the third eye is like some sort of group of of prophets but now that we know that psychos was the vice president i mean it means that there's going to be a very powerful esper out there we also have these very very powerful esper sukuyomi cult of god is out there as well and these are brand new storylines so this is one in murata's way of segueing us into the final arc of one punch man which i believe will come after the Mad Cyborg arc, which is where the webcomic ended. We never got to see the actual S Mad Cyborg, we never got to see Genos fight him, but we were almost there, we were just about there. And now that One is working on his new manga, Versus, which I reviewed, by the way, on my channel, it's actually great, It's chapter one was awesome. If you want to see that video, I'll put a link in the description, or you can watch it here. So I think because of that, he's trying to wrap up One Punch Man. He's dotted his I's and crossed his T's, and after the Mad Cyborg arc is done, Genos will have his redemption, and then we'll go on to the War on God arc. And ideally, Murata and One could draw this out as long as they want. I don't think that God is going to be one-shot by Saitama, especially considering how many hits God Garo took. And obviously the War on God arc is going to have to do with Blast teaming up with Saitama, and as we saw at the end of the God Garo arc, when Saitama and God Garo connected their serious punches, a team of very powerful people Blast level helped Blast redirect the clash of that cataclysmic punch out into space and they landed on the moon of Jupiter. So there's this whole other storyline. There's potentially three storylines revolving around Blast and God coming up here in the One Punch Man manga. We got the Sukoyomi Cult of God, we have the Third Eye Esper Prophets can see into the future, no doubt has something to do with God as well, and we have God's galactic crew of 
space heroes out there fighting God somewhere. And all of this is going to come together, but I think over the next few months of chapters as we get to the Mad Cyborg arc, Juan and Murata will continually give us these tidbits about God as we learn more about the Third Eye and the Tsukuyomi. Now it's also possible that the Third Eye, they either want to become avatars of God or they may already be. I mean, Psychos was an insanely powerful esper, and this guy with the mask just zapped her like it was nothing. He could potentially be an avatar of God or maybe because they're devotees, like that's the only thing they want. They wanna like give themselves to God. They wanna become avatars. And we could potentially get a war on God arc on Earth. I mean, at least if Saitama and Blast are fighting the Sukuyomi clan and they're all God avatars, that would be pretty insane itself. But how do we get to God himself? I mean, there's still so much for Wana Murata to show and explain to us before we even get there. I think pretty soon in the manga, we're gonna get some insane reveals for God and Saitama and their connection. Because as we saw just a couple chapters ago, Sitch was saying that Blast has been fighting God for 20 years, but it wasn't until the last two, which is around the time that Saitama lost his hair and broke his limits, that God has started to come in and like Blast was able to physically see him. Now this 20 year time frame that Sitch was talking about where Blast has been fighting God, quote unquote, for 20 years, but he hasn't actually seen him for the last two, that 20 year timeline is very important because a lot of things have happened in the last 20 years. First of all, let's talk about 18 years ago when Blast shows up to rescue Tatsumaki from the research facility. This Sukiyomi character also mentioned the research, so it's very obvious that this group is doing experiments on espers for some odd reason, to try and find or harness this third eye. The third eye, potentially Shibawara could have had it, that may have been the reason that she was able to be a prophet, and so the espers themselves have some kind of connection to God, meaning that Blast is probably esper as well. I mean, we've seen him show up when God shows himself to various characters, he just, Blast just randomly shows up. He's also connected to God, he's potentially at some level an esper, himself. And we saw at that research facility that Blast had a black cube, which is also very important because we're learning more and more about these cubes. They are transmitters to communicate with God. And if the Sukuyomi had a black cube, which they did because Blast took it out of the facility, that means that they could have easily been in communication with God, or they could be God avatars themselves. If you have a cube, God will potentially offer you power, as we saw him do it to Saitama, and so the Sukuyomi undoubtedly are either avatars already, or their goal is to become avatars. But it's very clear that they're on the side of God, and they want something from him, or they're his followers, and so if they're gonna be his followers, they're probably pretty damn powerful. Now, how they've stayed hidden this whole time, I have absolutely no idea. Maybe they'll explain that. And then 15 years ago, we know from the webcomic is when Blast fought the Founding Ninja. And we got teased an image of the Founding Ninja. He used to be Blast's partner. So something happened 20 years ago. 18 years ago, Blast rescues Tatsumaki from the research facility and takes a black cube out of it. And this research facility, no doubt, was part of the Sukuyomi. And interestingly enough, the building itself looks like a giant black cube. So I guess the Sukuyomi hideouts are all these buildings that look like giant black cubes and then maybe inside of them they have black cubes, they communicate with God, and they experiment on espers. And then 15 years ago, Blast fights against the founding ninja, unless that gets rewritten in the manga. And then two years ago, Saitama breaks his limiter and then God shows up. And Shibawara's prophecy was a little bit of time ago. I mean, she said that basically God is gonna come in six months, so we have to be getting to that part very, very soon in the story. And all of these pieces are gonna start coming together. And then he also said that something is drawing God to Earth. So Saitama broke his limiter, God noticed, perhaps because he fears Saitama's strength, or it could be something else we don't know yet, perhaps there's a different God inside Saitama, something like that. But we'll find that out eventually, but it's very clear here that we're going to continually get more more and more tidbits about God and the story throughout these chapters, and it's gonna lead into a freaking insane cataclysmic finish. I'm very, very excited. I actually really like the direction that Juan and Murata are taking this, because God itself is such an interesting, ominous character, and there's so many mysteries surrounding it. We have so many questions, 
and one and Murata continually give us these little nuggets of information that expand our theories. And, you know, it's very, very exciting. I mean, the battle between God and Saitama is something that every One Punch Man fan wants to see because who knows the amount of things they could do with that could be crazy. You could have a Saitama from, a, from another universe who's evil fight our Saitama. You know, Saitama versus evil Saitama. You could have Saitama and Blast and his crew versus an army of God avatars, which would just be insane. So yeah, the hype for One Punch Man just continues to rise and I love that these chapters, you just don't know what to expect. I mean, even if you've read the webcomic, there's so much fresh content and more information as well as Murata's just absolutely ridiculous art in every chapter. How could you not be head over heels for this story in this manga? Well, I am. I embarrassed myself singing some stupid Fubuki simp song in my video yesterday. If you missed that, um, it's, it's cringe overload. I'll, I'll say that much, but I'm glad I made a lot of you laugh. That's what makes YouTubing worth it is just putting smiles on people's faces. Seriously, that's like the best part is just seeing people laugh. Um, so, you know, if you laugh at my expense, eh, screw it. I'm happy you had a good day. 